One of the main things I want to introduce you to is the SEO roadmap. So this is a timeline based tracker and spreadsheet to help you coordinate your monthly SEO efforts to ensure that deliverables are being achieved and pushed to the client. But also, you know, it works two ways. Yeah, it's providing deliverables to the clients, but it's also ensuring that there's consistent monthly activity occurring across the four pillars of SEO, on-page, off-page, content, and technical SEO. You could almost say there's five pillars, the fifth one being reporting. So although that's not going to drive results, it's going to increase that transparency with the clients that you've got and let them know what is being tracked. Uh, for example, you could have a conversation that goes like, client says to you, my clicks are down. So you check the keyword ranking tool, you check your keyword reporting. Well, actually your keywords are still sitting in positions one to three. So that may be a seasonal slash volume thing. The volume of your chosen keyword is not searched for in May that much, but throughout the year it is consistent. I'm ranting on a little bit about the importance of keyword tracking, which deserves another module in itself. This is just about the roadmap. I've set up the roadmap in this fashion. It can be as simple as you like. We keep it simple in-house. It's just a Google sheet that is shared and it is universally worked on between you, the team, and then viewable by the clients. And I'm, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you exactly what an SEO roadmap looks like. We've created it in such a way that it is productized and able to be rolled out to clients in multiple industries because while the search intent in the industry changes per client, the actions that are needed to drive results typically remain the same and the principles of SEO remain constant the same. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's look at the SEO roadmap together.